right, so this is a video that um, I'm not really teaching you anything. I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you when I was a young lad, when I was a teenager in bodybuilding um, back in the 80s. So uh, you may or may not know I did my first contest when I was 13 years old. And uh, I remember to this day my friends telling me that you had the water deplete. I remember I went to Dairy Queen and I got um, a cup of ice. And that cup of ice, uh, I'd get one every day. That was my only liquid for the day. And uh, I was 119 pounds, actually. Um, this was 1985. It was, um, it was a little different. But I, I knew I loved the sport right from the start. I remember I posed to a song from the movie Vision Quest. It was called Lunatic Fringe by Red Rider. And I got last place. I got fourth place out of four. But I enjoyed the experience. I kept on training, I kept on training. Back then in 1985, Mr. Olympia was Lee Haney and I videotaped it and I watched it over and over and over. The hard thing for me back then was just to get a gym to let me in. The first gym I went to downtown in my little town, they said, you're too young, you'll get hurt, get out of here. And then I went to another gym, we had two of them downtown and uh, she let me in. And um, there were a lot of really big guys, and um, I had a lot of kind of role models, a lot of guys to watch who were really, really big and strong. And I was pretty fired up. Um, a couple years later, I went to a Tom Platt seminar. He was in Columbus, Ohio, which is where we're at now, doing a seminar. And I was just amazed, amazed at how intelligent he was. He was talking about Golgi tendon organs and sarcoplasmic reticulum and just all this different stuff and I thought man this is really cool this guy's really smart so I watched a lot of what Tom did um, I really really enjoyed his his intensity his passion and I kind of look back and that's I feel like that's the way I was I was very passionate I was very intense you know I grabbed the muscle and fitness when it came out every month Whatever the routine was in there, I would do it. Lee Haney's back routine, or Rich Gaspari's chest routine, or Lee Labrada's arm routine. You know, I was doing all those. So I kept training in, uh, in college. I was very poor, so my diets were very basic. A lot of canned tuna, a lot of potatoes, uh, a lot of coffee. But um, I actually was winning contests when I was in college, just on that very brutal diet. And um, I continued to just really, really enjoy the sport. I remember um, going to the Teenage Mr. Cincinnati, and this was something I always remember too. It's in kind of a tough section, kind of a rough neighborhood. So I'm um, at this school, it's called Taft High School. So I'm sitting at the top of the steps, you know, just watching all the bodybuilders come in, and this van pulls up, and it's got but like the windows are tinted, the base is pounded out of it. And I'm like, what in, the world's, what in the world's going on here? So this van pulls up and these three big black guys get out of the van. They're monsters. And I was like, oh my God, these guys are monsters. It turns out it was a guy named Brian Merritt, the one to Mr. Cincinnati, he was a beast. And uh, a guy named Desmond Phillips who ended up winning the Mr. Cincinnati. He's one of the strongest guys I've ever seen. So I was just amazed. Those guys were like my heroes. I was like, I want to look like that. And I actually transferred colleges. I was going to a college in Wilmington, which is in Southern Ohio. And I actually transferred colleges. I came to Columbus because there was a world gym here where a lot of the uh, bigger guys trained. So I joined a gym in Columbus. Um, I was probably 20, 21 at the time. And I was very fortunate because I had some guys take me under their wing. One guy was Mark O'Hara, another guy was Nick Bowman. Um, a couple big brothers that you know kind of taught me the ropes. They had me powerlifting. They had me training very heavy, very intense. So I had you know back when I was younger, man, I had all these. I was kind of the little white kid, but they knew that I was going to work hard, and I think they saw the passion I had. So they were very willing to help me, and that meant a lot to me because um, those guys. I wasn't intimidated to go to the gym. I knew when I went there. They were going to teach me. They were going to push me. When I was in college, I had to get to the gym at 6 in the morning, and I was squatting with Nick. And, of course, by 6.30, we'd have six, seven plates on the bar squatting. 
and because uh, I had to get to class at eight o'clock or nine o'clock, whatever it was back then. But um, so I had a lot of people uh, really help me out. So I guess what I'm I'm saying is I just want to give you a little insight of when I was younger, what it was like. I think it's important if you're a young if you're a young uh, guy or gal and you're watching this, find some people who are good mentors, learn from them, and. Um, at the end of the day, you know, what matters is how hard you're working. You want to be working smart, obviously, but I think sometimes people just forget the base, the basis of all of this. 